Question 1. When driving with double or triple trailers, the primary concern is A. Increased fuel consumption B. Reduced acceleration C. The crack the whip effect Answer C. The crack the whip effect Due to the added length and pivot points, double and triple trailers can experience this effect, especially during turns or lane changes. Question 2. True or false? Double and triple trailers have shorter stopping distances than single trailers. Answer. False. Due to the added weight and length, double and triple trailers require a longer distance to come to a complete stop. Question 3. Which trailer should be loaded with the heaviest cargo in a double or triple combination? A. The front trailer. B. The middle trailer. C. The last trailer. Answer. A. The front trailer. Loading the heaviest cargo in the front trailer helps maintain stability. Question 4. When checking the coupling of double or triple trailers, it's essential to ensure A. The safety chains are connected. B. The fifth wheel is at the proper height. C. The shutoff valves are open. Answer. C. The shutoff valves are open. This ensures that air can flow to the brakes of all trailers. Question 5. True or false? The converter dolly in double and triple combinations has its own air tanks. Answer. True. The converter dolly typically has its own air tanks to supply air for its brakes. Question 6. When uncoupling the rear trailer, the first step is to A. Disconnect the service and emergency airlines. B. Lower the landing gear. C. Apply the trailer handbrake. Answer. C. Apply the trailer handbrake. This prevents the trailer from rolling. Question 7. In double and triple trailer combinations, which trailer is most likely to turn over due to the crack the whip effect? A. The front trailer. B. The middle trailer. C. The last trailer. Answer. C. The last trailer. The last trailer is most susceptible to this effect. Question 8. When making a lane change with double or triple trailers, you should A. Make quick and sudden movements. B. Allow for more space than with a single trailer. C. Rely solely on your mirrors. Answer. B. Allow for more space than with a single trailer. The added length requires more space for safe lane changes. Question 9. True or false? It's safe to back up with a double or triple trailer as long as you have a spotter. Answer. False. Backing up with double or triple trailers is risky and should be avoided when possible. Question 10. The primary purpose of the converter dolly is to A. Convert electrical signals. B. Provide additional cargo space. C. Connect the front and rear trailers. Answer. C. Connect the front and rear trailers. The converter dolly is used to couple multiple trailers together. Question 11. When inspecting double and triple trailers, you should pay special attention to A. The cargo inside the trailers. B. The coupling devices and shutoff valves. C. The color of the trailers. Answer. B. The coupling devices and shutoff valves. Ensuring these are in good condition and properly set is crucial for safety. Question 12. True or false? When driving with multiple trailers, the heaviest trailer should be positioned closest to the tractor. Answer. True. This helps maintain stability and control. Question 13. Which of the following is a challenge when driving with double or triple trailers on a downgrade? A. Increased stopping distance. B. Reduced visibility. C. Off tracking. Answer. A. Increased stopping distance. The added weight and length require longer distances to stop. Question 14. When connecting the converter dolly to the second semi-trailer, you should. A. Connect the service airline first. B. Ensure the shutoff valves are in the open position. C. Lift the dolly up by the tongue. Answer. B. Ensure the shutoff valves are in the open position. 
This ensures airflow to the brakes of both trailers. Question 15, true or false? Double and triple trailers are less affected by wind than single trailers. Answer, false. Due to their length and multiple pivot points, they can be more susceptible to wind forces. Question 16, when driving with double or triple trailers, it's essential to A. Make sharp turns at high speeds. B. Break harder than with a single trailer. C. Keep a greater following distance. Answer. C. Keep a greater following distance. The added length and weight require more space to react and stop. Question 17. The crack the whip effect is most pronounced when A. Driving at low speeds. B. Making sharp turns. C. Driving on straight roads. Answer. B. Making sharp turns. The effect is most noticeable during sharp turns or sudden maneuvers. Question 18. True or false? The converter dolly has its own set of brakes. Answer. True. The converter dolly is equipped with brakes to help control the trailers. Question 19. When inspecting the coupling of double or triple trailers, you should ensure. A. The kingpin is locked in place. B. The fifth wheel is greased. C. The lights on the trailers are of the same color. Answer. A. The kingpin is locked in place. This ensures the trailers are securely connected. Question 20. Which of the following is not a challenge when driving with double or triple trailers? A. Increased fuel consumption. B. The crack the whip effect. C. Longer stopping distances. Answer. A. Increased fuel consumption. While fuel consumption may vary, the primary challenges are the crack the whip effect and longer stopping distances. Question 21. True or false? It's easier to pass other vehicles with double or triple trailers than with a single trailer. Answer. False. The added length makes passing more challenging and requires more space and time. Question 22. When driving with double or triple trailers on a slippery road, you should A. Increase your speed for better traction. B. Make sudden lane changes. C. Reduce your speed and be extra cautious. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and be extra cautious. Slippery roads can exacerbate the challenges of driving with multiple trailers. Question 23. The shunoff valves in a double or triple combination should be A. Closed for the rear trailer B. Open for the front trailer C. Open for all trailers except the last one Answer C. Open for all trailers except the last one This ensures that air can flow to the brakes of all trailers except the last one Question 24. True or false? When uncoupling double trailers, you should disconnect the first trailer before the second. Answer. False. You should always disconnect the rear trailer first to maintain control. Question 25. When driving with double or triple trailers, you should avoid. A. Using engine brakes or retarders. B. Keeping a safe following distance. C. Checking your mirrors frequently. Answer. A using engine brakes or retarders. They can cause skidding or jackknifing, especially on slippery roads. Question 26. The most unstable trailer in a triple combination is usually the A. First trailer B. Second trailer C. Third trailer Answer. C. Third trailer The last trailer in the combination is the most susceptible to rollovers and the crack-the-whip effect. Question 27. True or false? The converter dolly is placed between the front and rear trailers in a double combination. Answer. True. The converter dolly connects the two trailers together. Question 28. When checking the lights on a double or triple trailer, you should ensure A. All lights are of the same color. B. The lights on the rear trailer are brighter. C. All required lights are working and visible. Answer. C. All required lights are working and visible.
It's essential for safety and compliance with regulations. Question 29. In a double or triple combination, the hand valve should be used. A. To turn the rear trailer. B. For regular braking. C. Only in emergencies. Answer. C. Only in emergencies. Using the hand valve for regular braking can cause skidding or jackknifing. Question 30. True or false. In a double or triple combination, the air supply for the braking system is shared among all trailers. Answer. True. The air supply is interconnected, but each trailer and the dolly have their own brakes. Question 31. When coupling double trailers, the proper sequence is A. Couple the rear trailer, then the front trailer. B. Couple the front trailer, then the rear trailer. C. Couple both trailers simultaneously. Answer. B. Couple the front trailer, then the rear trailer. This sequence ensures better control and safety. Question 32. True or false? When driving with double or triple trailers, you should make wider turns to compensate for off-tracking. Answer. True. Due to the added length and multiple pivot points, wider turns are necessary to prevent the trailers from hitting curbs or other obstacles. Question 33. The main reason for longer following distances with double or triple trailers is A. Increased visibility needs B. Longer stopping distances C. The need for wider turns Answer. B. Longer stopping distances the added weight and length require more space to come to a complete stop. Question 34. True or false. When driving with double or triple trailers, you should use your mirrors more frequently than with a single trailer. Answer. True. Due to the added length, frequent mirror checks are essential to monitor all trailers and ensure safety. Question 35. When driving in windy conditions with double or triple trailers, you should... A. Increase your speed to counteract the wind. B. Drive in the leftmost lane. C. Reduce your speed and be cautious. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and be cautious. Wind can have a significant impact on multiple trailers, making them harder to control. Question 36. True or false? The shutoff valves should be closed on the last trailer in a double or triple combination. Answer. True. Closing the shutoff valves on the last trailer ensures that air doesn't escape from the system. Question 37. When inspecting a double or triple trailer, you should pay special attention to A. The color of the trailers. B. The cleanliness of the trailers. C. The condition of the coupling devices. Answer. C. The condition of the coupling devices. Proper coupling is crucial for safety. Question 38. True or false? Double and triple trailers have a higher center of gravity than single trailers. Answer. True. The added length and weight distribution can raise the center of gravity, increasing the risk of rollovers. Question 39. When driving with double or triple trailers, you should avoid A. Using your mirrors. B. Sudden maneuvers. C keeping a safe following distance. Answer. B. Sudden maneuvers. Due to the crack the whip effect, sudden maneuvers can be dangerous. Question 40. The most significant risk when driving with double or triple trailers is A. Reduced fuel efficiency. B. The crack the whip effect. C. Increased acceleration. Answer. B the crack the whip effect. This effect can cause the trailers to swing out, especially during turns or lane changes. Question 41. True or false? It's easier to back up with double or triple trailers than with a single trailer. Answer. False. Backing up with multiple trailers is more challenging and should be avoided when possible. Question 42. When driving with double or triple trailers on a downgrade, you should. A. Use a higher gear. B. Rely solely on your brakes. C. Use engine braking or retarders, if available. Answer. C. 
use engine braking or retarders, if available. This helps control speed without overusing the service brakes. Question 43. True or false? The front trailer in a double or triple combination should be the lightest. Answer. False. The front trailer should be the heaviest to maintain stability. Question 44. When driving with double or triple trailers, you should be especially cautious. A. On straight roads. B. During sunny conditions. C. In curves and on ramps. Answer. C. In curves and on ramps. The crack the whip effect is most pronounced in these situations. Question 45. The primary purpose of the shutoff valves in a double or triple combination is to A. Control the air conditioning. B. Control the flow of fuel. C. Control the flow of air to the brakes. Answer. C. Control the flow of air to the brakes. The shutoff valves ensure that air can flow to the brakes of all trailers. Question 46. True or false? The converter dolly in double and triple combinations is used to connect the tractor to the first trailer. Answer. False. The converter dolly is used to connect the trailers to each other. Question 47. When driving with double or triple trailers, the most significant challenge during lane changes is A. The reduced acceleration. B. The crack the whip effect. C. The increased visibility needs. Answer. B. The crack the whip effect. This effect can cause the trailers to swing out, especially during sudden maneuvers. Question 48. True or false? In a double or triple combination, the air pressure in the braking system should be between 100 and 125 C. Answer. True. This is the standard operating range for air brake systems. Question 49. When driving with double or triple trailers, you should always A. Drive in the leftmost lane. B. Make sharp turns at high speeds. C. Plan your route in advance. Answer. C. Plan your route in advance. Due to the challenges of maneuvering multiple trailers, it's essential to plan your route to avoid tight turns, narrow roads, and other potential obstacles. Question 50. The most significant risk when uncoupling double or triple trailers is A. Losing air pressure in the braking system. B. The trailers rolling away. C. The lights not working. Answer. B. The trailers rolling away. Always ensure that the trailer brakes are applied and the landing gear is down before uncoupling.